And with that, our next award is Business Woman of the Year. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, women are the engine of families. As our next winner proves, women are also the engine of family-owned enterprises. In her four years in the driver's seat of Sundram Fasteners, this University of Michigan Business School graduate has been fast and furious in her diversification plans. From auto parts, Sundram is entering into areas as diverse and cutting edge as aerospace, defense, and wind energy. This is, to my mind, real business and gender fluidity. It gives us immense pleasure to call ET's Businesswoman of the Year, Managing Director, Sundaram Fasteners, Aarti Krishna. Good evening to everyone, honorable finance minister, respected chief minister, who has left, respected chief minister of Maharashtra, Mr. Vineet Jain and the ET family, jury members, my fellow awardees, ladies and gentlemen. I'm privileged and very proud to be here to accept the award of Businesswoman of the Year 2022. I stand here representing my Sundaram Fastener's family and all its employees. And most of all, I think I today stand here representing women in the manufacturing sector. The Indian manufacturing industry generated uh, 80 to 18 to 20% of the GDP pre-pandemic. And uh, today has to be one of the fastest growing sectors and hopefully will be providing more and more jobs for women tomorrow. Sundaram Fasteners has been built on a strong foundation of quality, and our unwavering focus on quality has earned us the unique distinction of winning the Deming Award at all of our 18 manufacturing units simultaneously. This has helped us sustain and enhance the quality of our products and helped us gain international recognition. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the ET family for this award, and also the members of the jury for giving me this award. And this would not have been possible without the support of the entire Sundaram Fasteners team and the trust shown by all our customers. Once again, I express my sincere gratitude to the Economic Times and your jury for this recognition. Yeah. 